Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today we're going to be going over the 10 best free WordPress plugins. This is my top 10 list for the best free WordPress plugins that you can get started with your WordPress website, install, download, and get right on your WordPress website. Now, if you are a brand new beginner and you haven't gotten set up with your WordPress website just yet, I do want to mention the first link down in the description box below will take you right over to our hosting provider, Bluehost. It is the hosting provider that I use and recommend. Uh, Bluehost is great for getting set up with affordable hosting for your WordPress website or online store. If you're getting set up uh, with a WordPress online store, you can do that there as well. And they are recommended by WordPress as Bluehost is one of the top recommended WordPress providers by WordPress.org. And that once again is brennanvaleski.com forward slash hosting, brennanvaleski.com forward slash hosting. First link down in the description box below. It does support the channel. If you want to help out and support the channel, go ahead and use that first link down in the description box. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the list. At the number one spot, we have the classic editor for WordPress. Now, if you are a longtime WordPress vet and you're just looking for some more free plugins, you're probably already familiar with the classic editor, what that looks like. But if you're a brand new beginner, basically WordPress migrated their um, publishing and content creation setup. So instead of a classic like little text editor, visual editor, or uh, you can also edit with HTML. Now it's uh, built on the Gutenberg platform, which is more like a little bit of a page builder. Really just depends on your personal preference. That's why this is at the number one spot, because if you do want that old school classic editor, basically just a simple text box. If you want to keep things nice, easy, simple, how WordPress has been for many years, and maybe you don't want a page builder design or layout, then I would definitely recommend utilizing the classic editor. Um, if you want just a basic, simple, easy use look, may maybe if you're already used to that, you know, then go with the classic editor. But you know, you can use, of course, the more page builder style with Gutenberg. Um, that should be installed already on your WordPress website. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you want the classic old school look and feel, uh, then that's what the classic editor will bring to you. It's a very simple plugin. Uh, and really there is a ton, a ton of different plugins, uh, once again with WordPress, like there's over 60,000. So this is just a quick list of my top 10 and some of the most popular ones. Of course, you know, depending on your specific needs, there are a bunch of other plugins available, uh, that may suit you better. It really just depends on, on what your needs are, but I feel like these are probably some of the, some of the best ones that it would apply to most people using WordPress. So classic editor, if you're going to be making content and publishing content, like traditional, more traditional, like blog posts and the classic editor makes a ton, a ton of sense. As you can see here, you know, it's an official WordPress plugin, uh, basically because of the, the new editor. Uh, and so this gives you the, you know, the old school functionality and hides the new block editor which is dubbed, you know, Gutenberg is the new block editor. So, you know, give it a shot. If you like the block editor, you know, feel free to stick with that. Or if you like the, you know, if you want the old school look and feel like a, a blog editor, then you can do the classic editor. So, and you can set that based on user permissions as well, depending on, you know, the person on your site. So as you can see here, classic editor. Um, so yeah, you have the flexibility there depending on, you know, what type of, uh, editor that you want to use. I think that's a really good plugin. You know, I personally use it super, super nice. If you just want to keep things classic and simple moving in at the number two spot, we have Yoast SEO. Now, if you're really, if you're building any kind of WordPress website, you really do want a proper SEO plugin, whether that be Yoast SEO, that's just the one that I like and use. Uh, you can also use another plugin called all in one SEO. That's another popular one that a bunch of people use. Uh, I just like Yoast SEO because of the way that it sets up the XML sitemaps. If you're familiar with that is basically, it's just a map so that uh, search engines and Google can better find your website and better find your content. Uh, Yoast SEO helps you just overall with a lot of different SEO optimizations. Not necessarily everything that they recommend is really you need to do or something you have to do. It's just nice as far as building out, it automatically generates the sitemaps for you. So that's super, super nice. Uh, and, you know, as you can see here, you know, if you want to rank highly in search engines and, and optimizing your content for SEO purposes, then Yoast SEO is a great way to do that. Uh, they do have quite a bit of different features. Uh, one thing I like as well is you can do, you can also see a preview as to what your content would look like as like a Google mobile result with the Google preview. 
Uh, personally, I like that. You know, I wouldn't pay too, too much attention as far as the SEO analysis or like the readability can sometimes be useful, but it's not always 100% accurate. Uh, mostly, I like it for, you know, the little preview so you can see what your content looks like. So you make sure you have a good featured image and a good article title. Uh, you know, you can edit those right in there with Yoast SEO. So if you want to edit your specific uh, titles is what it looks like in Google, then you can also do that with Yoast SEO as well. Um, really, it, it does help you with a lot of those simple SEO optimizations and things that you might want to take a look at or consider uh, when you're building out your website. And Yoast SEO is just a nice way to help you with a lot of those little things. And once and I will mention too that uh, a lot of these free plugins do have pro level versions. So just keep that in mind. Most of them are free. You know, they're all free to download pretty much. Um, most of them either have a pro version that you could upgrade to, or, you know, they all have a free version that you could at least start with, consider and use, you know, most of these, you can get away just fine with the free version. Um, that's pretty much just the business model of every WordPress plugin. They all have a free version and then they have a pro level version with extended and additional features, but those additional features aren't necessary for everybody. So, you know, give all these a shot, you know, if it, if it seems like you might have interest with them, um, the free versions are pretty comprehensive and do offer quite a bit across all these different plugins I'm mentioning in today's video. So moving in at that number three slot, we have WP Forms. So if you wanna get started with a contact form, look no further than WP Forms. I will say that WP Forms does offer quite a bit of flexibility, even with their basic free, uh, you know, beginner friendly um, contact forms. You can easily add like name, email, subject. You know, it's really good if, for your contact page. Uh, and WP Forms just makes it super easy. Like you don't need to know any coding or anything to set it up. Uh, and it's quite flexible. As you can see here, it's kind of like a, almost like a add fields, drag and drop. So as you can see, they do have like basic fields as well as fancy fields that are on their like pro level version. But even just the free version with WP Forms is really solid if you just want to create some basic contact forms. Uh, their integrations also are really, really nice too. If you have other uh, software for your business or for your website that you plan on using, you know, you can also um, use maybe some of their other plugin options that they have, as well as a lot of their integrations, uh, which makes it just much more of a dynamic WordPress plugin, uh, considering all the different extensions and integrations that WP Forms also has to offer. So definitely highly recommend checking them out if you need a contact form. Once again, a lot of these plugins are pretty specific to certain needs, but most people probably want either, you know, SEO or contact form or something like that. Um, so moving in at the number four slot, we have Elementor. Now, if you want to do page building and, and utilizing a page builder, getting a super custom design, then Elementor is a great option. They really are one of the best page builders available for the WordPress platform. Uh, I've used them a lot and definitely recommend using Elementor. Um, it really just depends on what your needs are. If you want something or super custom, or you want to build out something, uh, pretty unique for your website, then Elementor is great. You know, you can utilize like high level design skills and everything with, with Elementor and really build like a custom responsive site, uh, depending on you know, what your needs are. And you can, they also have templates as well. Um, they have themes. So I mentioned this in my, in my themes video for WordPress themes, El Elementor also, you know, has different theme templates. So if you're looking at sort of like a theme builder, uh, or a page builder, uh, then Elementor is a great WordPress plugin for that. If that's what you're, if you want that, you know, to build out custom pages, custom, um, landing pages as well, maybe sales pages, uh, really uh, a whole portfolio. It, the world is endless with Elementor as far as what you can build and what you can design. They have a bunch of different preset templates as well and like little drag and drop blocks. It's super, super easy to utilize. Uh, it's easy also to spend a ton, a ton of time on there, but they have some nice templates. So that can help you if you don't want to make it maybe fully custom, you can at least kind of start with a template and modify the template to what your needs are. So yeah, definitely recommend checking out Elementor if you want a page builder. Moving in at number five, we have WooCommerce. So 
If you are a fan of the channel, of course, you know I talk a lot about e-commerce on the channel as well. So WooCommerce is basically the WordPress equivalent for setting up e-commerce. So if you need to sell products, uh, physical, digital, uh, online, and you want to be able to have like a whole cart system and an online store built into your WordPress website, you're going to want to use more than likely WooCommerce for your WordPress website. That's really just the de facto uh, e-commerce platform that you can install and download for free on your WordPress website. So WooCommerce is really, really great if you want to utilize, you know, an e-commerce aspect of your WordPress website, uh, then you're going to want to install and use WooCommerce. It's a great free plugin. Uh, they do have some other paid uh, additional things that you can do with WooCommerce, but the free version does at least get you like the basics. Uh, you can sell products, accept payments, do all of that within WooCommerce. Um, and you know list your products for sale uh, it really builds out like a ton a ton of additional uh, usability and features for your WordPress website really extends its capabilities uh, into the whole fully fledged e-commerce website. Uh, you know, I would say fairly comparable to a Shopify as well, but at a much affordable, a much more affordable price point as well. You know, given that you can install and download the the plugin for free, all you need is your WordPress hosting, which I mentioned link down below, first link down in the description box. You'll need your WordPress hosting. Um, and depending on how big you plan on building your online store, you might need, you know, additional hosting needs, of course, with Bluehost, depending on um, your hosting needs for an e-commerce site compared to just a more traditional uh, WordPress website. So that is something else to consider if you plan on utilizing the WooCommerce plugin, but it is another great free uh, WordPress plugin that extends its capabilities. So moving in at number six, we also have Updraft Plus. So this is another, once again, another free WordPress plugin that you can use. They do have a pro version, but the free version does at least give you um, a nice way to back up your website. So say, for example, you're making a bunch of changes uh, to your site and maybe you're going to you know, do a bunch of changes or wipe something. It's great to have that little updraft and you can um, download the WordPress backups right to your Google Drive or, you know, your Dropbox or other cloud saving platforms or cloud file systems. So it makes it really easy for you to automatically back up your site um, depending on, you know, if you're doing something or if something happens or something goes wrong with your site. Now, oftentimes, you know, your hosting company can help you with those types of things as well as far as like WordPress security or WordPress backups. Uh, but Updraft is a nice free way to do it that at least can give you like some peace of mind depending on what you're doing with your site and if you're making any big changes. It's just a nice little extra plugin that you could always have just working in the background. You set it and forget it. Um, moving in at the next spot. So we have Google Site Kit. So if you are getting set up your with your WordPress website for the first time, getting Google Analytics, Google Search Console, getting uh, page speed insights and everything all set up can be a little bit of a challenge for the for the a beginner, but with Google Site Kit, it makes it super, super easy. Uh, this is a relatively newer plugin as well that Google has started offering. It makes it really quick and easy to easily uh, connect your Google Analytics account, your Google Search Console account, uh, and Google PageSpeed Insights as well. So when you're getting set up with your website, you definitely want those metrics being tracked and logged in your Google account so that you can easily refer back to those whenever you need to for analytics, tracking you know visitors to your site, tracking um, potential rankings and everything. It just is really, really nice to have that extra visibility. And, it, and this is just an easy way to connect it without having to worry about as much complicated code like you had to in the past. It makes it really easy to integrate and verify your website ownership and get everything connected with Google uh, and your Google account to your WordPress website. It's really just an easy way to connect the two. Um, very easy to understand, super simple for beginners, you know, people that aren't as, you know, familiar with code or anything like that. You know, it just makes it really easy to get everything managed and set up with Google and all of your Google accounts. Moving in to the next spot, at number eight, we have Pretty Links. So if you plan on doing any kind of affiliate marketing, uh, and you want to have your domain, such as brennanvaleski.com forward slash hosting, will take you over to Bluehost. If you plan on doing anything like that with your website, uh, you're going to want Pretty Links, right? So Pretty Links allows you to track and 
manage your links and set up custom URLs so that you can have uh, redirects, whether it be an affiliate link or maybe you just want to send people to a certain landing page. Maybe you're doing a special offer uh, for, let's just say you had a gym, right? And maybe you're doing a 50% off sale uh, for summer, right? And then you could just do like your domain forward slash summer and then you could redirect people to a certain landing page and you know, you could do something like that or just redirect them to other URLs. It just makes managing your URLs really, really easy. Um, there's a lot of different applications you can utilize for this. You could also do 301 redirects as well as, as well, if you're familiar with that, um, you know, 302, you know, depending on the type of redirect. And it's just really good if you're managing a lot of affiliate links, because if an affiliate partner changes their URL, then you don't have to go and change it on 20 million different places where you posted their link. Instead, you just post your own link. Um, and then there you go. But you do want to make sure you check into the uh, affiliate partners, because some of them uh, don't, they don't allow you to do this. It just depends on uh, the company. But most have no problem. Of course, you're just sending your affiliate links. It's just with Amazon, you have to be extra careful. Um, so I would not use this if you plan on using Amazon affiliate. Uh, of course, you need your own other uh, link tracking software built for Amazon specifically, uh, but pretty much every other platform, like you should not have an issue. But of course, read the fine print. You know, you know, I'm not, I'm not your legal advisor for this type of stuff, of course, but generally pretty links is a great platform uh, for sharing links, tracking links, and just managing a bunch of different links. You can also see like little analytics, like click analytics as to how many people are clicking your link as far as where they're getting referred from as well. Um, you can do some of that stuff within Google analytics and whatnot, but pretty links just makes it really easy and you can easily make brandable links. Uh, to certain URLs, whether it be external or just even within your own WordPress website. So moving in at number nine, we have U Image Optimizer. So E-W-W-W -E Image Optimizer. So this is a great one if you plan on hosting a bunch of different photography or big files on your site and you want to keep things optimized so that pages don't load like, eh, 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 like a printer. You want to, especially for people that are maybe on a phone or have a bad connection, uh, it's important that your images are properly sized and optimized on your WordPress website. Uh, no, really, no matter what type of WordPress website you plan on building, just so that things load nice, fast, and easy for visitors so that people don't get frustrated, either can't see your images or click out or it just loads super slow. Like you don't want that. So either, whether it be you image optimizer or another image optimization plugin, definitely recommend using something like that to at least, you know, optimize your image sizes, um, and make it just more compressed and easier, easier for load times. So for visitors. So at that number 10 spot, we then have table press. Now table press is really great if you want to um, create tables without having to worry about like a bunch of code. You can easily create tables that look like this if you want to display lots of data points on your website. Uh, maybe you have names, you know, like as you can see here, this is like a, a list of people's names and um, points and dollar amounts and zip codes, like depending on the type of content that you plan on publishing on your WordPress website or on your pages on your website, if you want easy to build out custom tables, then table press is a great option. Um, they have a lot of flexibility as far as like uploading CSVs or different URLs or autom or um, importing data or just creating table data table table data points uh, on your WordPress website and easily adding those into your content so that at the end of the day you it's just simpler and easier than creating like HTML tables. Uh, if you want to build out simple tables, of course you could also, you know, build out like tables with a platform like Elementor, but if you're not using a page builder, then table press, uh, can be easily imported and exported. Um, it's just a nice way to display data on your WordPress website. So yeah, table press is another great option, uh, there as well. So guys, those are the 10 best free WordPress plugins. Once again, I do want to mention that first link down in the description box below. will take you right over to Bluehost, brandleski.com forward slash hosting. will take you over to WordPress 
hosting. If you want to get set up with your WordPress website, maybe you're a beginner, maybe you don't already have your WordPress website, then you go ahead and use that first link down in the description box below. It does support the channel. If you want to help out the channel, you can go ahead and do that. Now, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and a notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.